Well, Marge's boyfriend, Neil Williams, newspaper man, came over to the Aces and surprised them with the news that the man who lives next door to them now is Arthur Lorenz, famous movie director. Mr. Lorenz came all the way from Hollywood to study the typical suburban town and its people. His next movie is on that subject. Also, as a publicity tie-up with Neil's paper, there will be a contest to choose a girl to play an important role in the picture. Our scene now is the Aces' living room just after dinner. Here are Marge and Mr. Ray. Listen. Well, I'm glad you're taking a sensible view on this. Not a sensible view. I'm just letting her get, get this out of her system. She thinks she has a career somewhere, and every time she starts telling me that if she hadn't married, she might have become a great something or other, why... Oh, there comes a time in every woman's life when she thinks she might have had a career. It's a phase in every woman's life. Yeah? How about you? Oh, I had mine. You? Yes, but I had it when I was very young. I thought of a career on the stage, if you please, but I got over it. Yeah, just as Jane will get over this movie business, I hope. Oh, it'll give her something to do. The excitement of the contest, the preparations of the movie test they're going to give the girl. Yes, if she'll only take it calmly, but she's dead certain that this is the start of a great career. It's going to be an awful letdown when comes the dawn, as they say in the movies. <laughs> Good, clean, wholesome fun. Yes, on the surface it is. But somehow she manages to get so involved in all oh, sorts... Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. Will you do something for me, dear? Excuse me, Marge. Look, dear, I've got this list ready. Will you please call me these names? Call you what? What was that again, Jane? These names. My movie name. I'm trying to pick out one that sounds best. That's why I want you to call them to me. Oh, your movie name. Oh, there's <laughs> four of them. I just want to hear how they sound when somebody calls me. I'll go and stand outside the door, and the one that sounds the most like me, I'll come in on. Excuse me, Mark. So you just keep reading until I finally come in, and that'll be the one I'll take. Wait till I'm outside before you start. What is this? Let me see the list. Penelope Smith. Let me see it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Iris Garbo. <laughs> Annette Hepburn. And Jane Jones, I think this says. <laughs> Jane Jones? Yeah. That's quite a come down from Iris Garbo. <laughs> well, go ahead and call her. I want to see what happens. Call her? Yeah, she wants you to call her by those different names. The one she responds to is the one she's going to choose. Oh, that's what she meant. Uh-huh. <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, I feel foolish calling her Penelope. Oh, go ahead. Oh, this is so silly, though. Here, give them to me. I'll call her. Wish you would. I'd like to humor her, but this is carrying this thing too much. Well, I guess they're no good. I didn't come in on any of them. What? I guess they don't sound like me. I didn't come in on any of them, did I? Well, Jane, we haven't called you yet. Oh, well, I told you to call me. I can't find out if you don't call me. You're not doing it right. How can I tell if you don't call me? Well, give us a test. We had to look over the names to get acquainted with them. Oh, well, try it again. You call me then, Marge. All right, but give me time. You can't just call strange names like this without some practice. All right, I'll wait this time. Now, that's what I mean by getting involved. You see what she does? The contest isn't until next week, and there's going to be about a thousand girls crying out, and she's already choosing a movie name, just as if she's won it. Oh, she probably thinks the other fix it for her well, to win. he hasn't anything to say about it. If Mr. Lorenz doesn't like the girl, that settles it. He's one of the finest directors out there. He can't afford to have somebody like Jane in an important part. I better start and... these names. Um, Penelope Smith. Thank heaven she doesn't respond to that one. Maybe she's mulling it over. <laughs> Let's give her time. They give her Iris Garbo. That's probably the one she'll go for. Um, Iris Garbo! What? Doesn't respond to Iris Garbo. Hush. Do you think she heard me? If she didn't, she's the only one in this block. Give her the next one. Well, come down and do the go. Um, Annette Hepburn! Do you mind if I call a name? I can't trust you. You're right. Well, there's one more. Go What's ahead. this one? I can't read this writing. Uh, Jane... Uh... Jones, isn't it? Jane Jones, yes. Wouldn't well, it be funny if she responded to a simple hey. name? Like... Oh, that must be Neil. He said he might drop over tonight if he had to be out this I'll way. I'll let him in, Marge. No, I'm up. I'll let him in. What's he doing out this way? Interviewing Mr. Lorenz some more? Well, I guess so. He's going his whole time now to this movie concert. Oh, Mr. Lorenz. Well, come in. I hope I do that. Not at all. Come right in. We're just sitting around. Why not join us? You're a small town office little to do with my evening. Well, good evening, Mr. Lorraine. Uh, Mr. Race, I am great. I make myself an unwelcome visit. No, no. Glad to have you. I do not like to presume on your hospitality. You can come over any time you like. Has Mr. Williams been out tonight? No, we postponed our talk till tomorrow. I wish now I had insisted on tonight. I find so little to do with my nights here. Well, there's not much ex- excitement in our kind of town, Mr. Lorenz. Oh, do not misunderstand me. I do not ask for excitement. 
but... Uh, but after Hollywood, I imagine you find it rather dull around here. No, not dull, not at all. I find your life most interesting. That is when I study it by day. Oh, uh, have a chair. Oh, thank you. Uh, cigar? No, no. Uh, can I get you anything at no, all? No, no, thank you, nothing. I am happy to sit and... Well, how's the picture coming along? You making any discoveries in small town life? Oh, yes, delightful discoveries. I feel we shall have a great picture before we are finished. Uh, say, uh, Mr. Lorenz, uh, how'd you happen to pick this town? I mean, of all the towns that you might... Oh, it was quite by accident. I was on my way west when the thought occurred to me that I knew so little of small-town life here in America. I made up my mind and uh, hopped off the train. Uh, how do you say, uh... On the spur of the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was quick thinking. And a very lucky thought, too. I I don't know how I would have been able to create the right background for such a picture. Uh, what kind of a picture is it going to be? Or are you at liberty to discuss it with us, dear? At liberty, I'd yeah. love to discuss it, but I'm afraid I would bore you. Oh, I should say you would. Oh, of course not. It isn't very often that we get an inside view of picture making like this. Well, uh, it is a very simple story, but I hope to make it great by its very simplicity. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I see I do not make myself clear. I think I understand. Uh, what's the name of the picture? Well, so far it has been called by many names, but... Uh... Oh, speaking of names. Oh, oh yes, excuse us. Jane! Jane! That's the one. I finally found the right one. It sure took you a long oh, time. Oh, Jane, here's Mr. Loran. Oh, Mr. Loran. Oh, good evening, uh, Mrs. Hayes. Well, of all... Why didn't you tell me he was here? Oh, when did you come in? I was standing out there waiting. Mrs. Hayes is uh, trying to make up her mind just what name she should adopt for the movie. Yes, I've been trying to... You'll find the movie craze everywhere, Mr. Loran. <laughs> of course, it is only natural. Yes, I imagine every woman thinks she's a coming movie star. I have found it, so. Mr. Williams tells me we shall have hundreds of ladies in our contest. That's going to be quite a job, picking the right one. Oh, but Mrs. A thinks it's practically over. She's already won it, and she's choosing a name for the movies now. Oh. Yes, I've been trying to make up my mind, but you finally called me by the right one, dear. What right one? We forgot all about you. We just happened to... The one to... you called me. That's the one I'm going you to use. You know how excited she is about it, Mr. Lorraine. It is only natural. I find it so everywhere. Yes, but what you don't find everywhere is the confidence my wife has picking out her movie name before she even wins. A name is only as glamorous as what it stands for. Like what? A rose by any other name, you know. Rose? You like that name? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Lorraine. Most married ladies choose their maiden name, Mrs. A. My maiden name? What was it now? It's been so long, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, dear. I decide on is the best, don't you, dear? I don't know what you're talking about, but yes. Well, I think I'd leave the name business until after the contest is over, Jane, if I were you. How about it, Mr. Loren? Perhaps it would be wise. But as I say, names mean so little. Who was it said? And the best and the worst of this is that neither is most to blame if you have forgotten my kisses and I have forgotten your name. Not me. Don't look at me. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I think this is getting a little confused for you, Mr. Lorenz. No, no, indeed. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy to hear the delightful laughter. Oh, Marge, well, she's always laughing. I had begun to believe laughter was a lost art. Well, not around here. There's something going on all the time. Jane sees that. But to be able to laugh with all one part, what I wouldn't give for that. Well, you just hang around here a while, Mr. Lorenz, and you'll be laughing. I hope so. It's, it's been so long since I have really laughed. Really? Is Hollywood that serious a business? Hollywood. Do you know very many picture stars, Mr. Lorenz? I think so. Uh, do they live close to you? Some of them, yes. Well, what are they like? I mean, when they're not acting on the screen. What are they like? Uh-huh. So they are uh, children of emotion. Oh, you mean Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, Jane, I think that... Oh, that laugh again, it fascinates me. I, I have become intrigued by your laugh. I, are you really so happy? Oh, why shouldn't I be? Have you everything you wish for? Well, I don't wish for much. The wishing is one of life's greatest joys. Haven't you ever wished for something more than just uh, this? Just what? You uh, work, I suppose. Of course, and I like it. Perhaps that is because you must like it. You have no choice. Well, I haven't thought much about it, but I do like uh, it. Mars doesn't take much time out for going into movie contests and things like that, if that's what you mean. What a pity. Perhaps, uh, 
Perhaps I can change your mind. About going into this contest? No, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Marsh doesn't know much about that, Mr. Moran. Even when we went to school together, she never cared about being in plays and things like I did. Oh, you were in plays? Oh, yes. I could have guessed. You could, see, dear? Yes, I see what he means. Um, yeah. I want to ask you something about the contest, Mr. Moran. You don't, just don't choose the prettiest girl, do you? Oh, I don't think so. They have to know how to act, too, don't they? Well, it helps, yes. They have to be more uh, cute than pretty, I guess. Cute? Uh-huh, is that it? It is the one American word I cannot tolerate. <laughs> you and me both. I believe you understand. Of course I do. Perhaps I can change your mind and make you understand something else that I have thought. Do you like the name I picked out? The name? Uh-huh. What name? You didn't pick any name. Yes, the last one of those four I gave you. Oh, Jane Jones? Yes, Jane. No, not Jones. That doesn't say Jones. Where is that last Here, list? here it is. Jane, uh, what does this say? Jane, Jane. Jane, Jane? Yes, like Simone, Simone. Oh, Jane, <laughs> Jane, like Simone. Yeah, that's the name I can't came out on. Well, Jane, Jane certainly hits her wagon to a real star. But Mr. Loren seems to have other plans about the girl he hopes will win the contest. We'll learn more about that when next we meet the Easy Aces.